are rings better than bars for calisthenics? Well, I think that's a matter of opinion. So what I'm going to do in this video is share some advantages of rings and advantages of bars and let you decide for yourself. So starting with rings, I think the first and most obvious aspect of rings is that they rotate 360 degrees. And the reason why that's advantageous, well, there's actually two reasons. The first reason is that supination of the forearm can really help you emphasize certain muscles that you're using. A good example of this is in pushing exercises, like I've talked about, when you externally rotate, you're adding spiral tension and that, that extra torque is gonna increase your strength in the pushing movement. But also in pulling movements, a great example in weightlifting being a biceps curl. All right, when we curl, if you supinate the forearms, meaning you're turning your wrist so the pinky is a little higher than the thumb, you're engaging more of the brachialis, right? You're putting more emphasis on that. So supination is really great for a lot of upper body movements and it's something you can easily do with rings. But the other reason why 360 degree rotation is great in rings is for stabilization, okay? Specifically when you get above the rings. This could be in something basic like dips or L-sits or if you go beyond into muscle ups and stuff. Whenever you're above the rings, you're really gonna feel this. You're gonna shake when you're a beginner, and that's because your body has to get used to engaging all these deep muscles as stabilizers, and that long-term is a great advantage. I personally have noticed when I'm using rings a lot, I lean out more because you're just drawing blood everywhere. All these deep muscles are being engaged as stabilizers. Another huge advantage to rings because of their ability to rotate is the fact that you can change grips, right? You can use a pronated grip, supinated, or even neutral. It doesn't really matter. You can just rotate the rings and use whatever grip you want. Whereas with bars, you're pretty limited, all right? If the bar is a horizontal bar, you have pronated and supinated, you can't really do neutral. And on that topic, it's also important to point out that in certain exercises, like a tucked front lever row, the bar can actually get in the way in your legs or your knees might touch the bar, whereas with rings, you don't have a bar. You're just holding onto the two rings. There's, there's space above you in the middle, so you can actually go a little higher. Now, when it comes to affordability, rings are typically just gonna be cheaper than a good set of bars, and that's because there's less to them. They're simple. They're just typically wooden rings. Sometimes they're metal, um, but there's less to them. They're very simple, more affordable. And that includes special ones, like the ones I've been using from Duonamic recently, that can safely hang in a doorway. By the way, I really like those rings, so if you're interested in learning more about those, make sure you stay tuned to the channel. I think I'm gonna make an entire video just about those rings. And of course, there's the portability factor, all right? You can easily bring rings wherever you go. You can pack them in a suitcase, um, you can just bring them, you can just carry them right into your car, wherever you're going. It's just two rings and some straps. I mean, it's, it's really simple. As opposed to bars, where typically if the bars disassemble easily, like the base bar, or the B bars, or what I have, yeah, you can travel with them for sure, but they're gonna take up more room and they're not so easy to disassemble and lug with you. Now let's switch gears to bars, okay? The first main advantage to bars is that they are more stable. You don't have that 360 degrees of rotation. Now, why would that be an advantage? You just said that rings, had an advantage of being unstable. Well, for beginners, for people with no athletic background or maybe very little athleticism, maybe it's been many years since they were active in fitness, then they're gonna struggle on rings. It's not gonna be a good experience, okay? So I'm gonna recommend for a true beginner, you start with bars. That extra stability, specifically when you're above the bar, working on your support hold and your dips and then eventually L-sit and muscle up, you're gonna want that stability, all right? It's gonna provide a better experience and you'll make more progress faster. And the second advantage to bars is that they are way more common than rings, okay? I'm sure some gyms out there, the, the really good ones, are gonna have gymnastics rings for people to use, but for the most part, your typical run-of-the-mill gym doesn't have rings. It's not that common. They have way more bars, okay? Every gym has at least a pull-up bar and a dip station, right? But also, when you go to a park, you're way more likely to find bars to hang on, swing sets, whatever it might be, or maybe it's a fitness park specifically designed with bars, but rings, that's not too common. And the last main advantage to bars is that they're great for just repping it out and working on your overall conditioning, right? So if you wanna do high intensity circuits and just be repping out tons of pull-ups and dips and everything, 
That's what bars are for. Okay, gymnastics rings, not so much. You're not gonna be doing fast reps or lots of reps on rings. When you're on rings, you're going slow. You're trying to control the movement. It's a totally different type of workout. So again, if you're going for high reps, you wanna just rep it out and work on your overall conditioning, bars are better for that. So what is my recommendation, rings or bars? Well, that depends on the person. It's an individual thing. All right, if someone comes to me and they're a complete beginner, or maybe they have some athletic experience in the past, but it's been a long time since they've been active in fitness, then I'm definitely gonna recommend bars. It'll just be a better experience for them because the bars are stable. So when they start getting above the bar for support holds, dips, L-sits, muscle ups, etc., it's just gonna be more approachable and they're gonna see more progress. It'll be less discouraging. And trust me, a positive experience in fitness is the number one thing a client needs to adhere to a program. But if this person who comes to me were to say like they've been lifting weights for a long time, you know, they have a lot of previous and recent athletic experience and they wanna get into body weight training, then in that case, I'd say, well, maybe rings are a good option if they're interested in doing that gymnastic style training. But for me personally, lately, I've been just focusing a lot more on rings. I've been kind of leaning in that direction. I kind of bounce back and forth between rings and bars. And uh, lately it's just been rings. I've been enjoying them a lot. So you might see more of that on the channel. All right, as always, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like if you found it helpful. And don't forget to stay tuned if you wanna learn more from me. I'll talk to you later.